I'm here with Varun Maniar, who is the Managing Director for Electromac. Electromac is a leading electrical and mechanical general contractor for data centers here in India. Varun, thank you very much for being here. If you can tell us in a few words, uh, a little bit more Electromac, how could you explain your company expertise? Sure. So first off, uh, thanks Gustavo for having me here and GRI. I think it's a pleasure for us to be a part of this uh, event uh, this year. Uh, to talk a little bit about Electromac is a niche uh, as you rightly said, electrical, mechanical, uh, general contractor that specializes in building data centers in India. Uh, we have been doing this over a decade now uh, in the country. We've delivered more than 200 megawatts of data center capacity for various clients. And, uh, you know, our specialty is all the way from being a, a turnkey design build, commissioning, and, and delivery partner for all our clients. And when you look at the challenges, it's a new asset class in real estate. Sure. The technology is always changing. When when you look at the challenges in building and maintaining a data center, especially here in India, what can you tell us? So I think uh, the data centers that are being built in India in terms of the scale, the design, the spec are absolutely of uh, a, a global class, right? So every anything that's probably being built, for example, in Singapore or in Australia or in the US, the data centers that are being built in India are very much of the same kin. So the partners that have to work on these data centers uh, have to meet hyperscaler requirements, which are also of a global spec. So the ability of the general contractor to upskill the entire engineering staff, the design staff, the technicians, the safety personnel that work on there, the commissioning personnel that work on the site, is that the, that requirement is very, very high. It requires a lot of hours of training. It requires a lot of investment in terms of uh, bringing in the right team, building the team out. And then the beauty of building in India, which I think a lot of data center players you will hear say today is that the speed at which India is building is quite fast. So I've been told that India probably builds uh, data centers at maybe even 2x or 3x the speed that is being built anywhere else in the world. So think about it, the amount of, the quantum of work that one has to finish in a sort of collapsed timeline and at the same time meet all the design specs, the testing and commissioning specs, the safety specs, uh, without any dilution is where the real challenge is. And I think uh, that's where players like us are doing a great job in building that ecosystem, building that infrastructure where our clients can trust us to give, build such high quality data. Look, uh, when I talk to, to operators here and I talk to real estate investors, so there are some questions in terms of how timely the companies are able to deliver the projects. And one of the probably key indicator is the level of repeated business. I don't know if you are allowed to share that with us, but how is your uh, uh, repeated business here? Do you have clients that have been building more than one data center with you? Uh, Time-wise, um, how would you uh, say that your company uh, delivered the projects? Sure, sure. No, I think that's a very valid point. I think uh, the way we look at all our clients is a relationship. It's not a transaction because the the amount of investment in resources and time that we're putting in to work with the client is to build the first data center our hope is that we can then continue build the entire cluster with them or a significant cluster with them right so we've been growing our revenue by 40 percent wow. over the last three years and uh, while doing that we've been getting more than 70% repeat business from our existing clients. Wow. So, so that is a testament of how well we have delivered projects, how our clients trust us. And I think, look, it's a learning curve for everybody, right? I think the end clients, hyperscalers, the developers, the entire ecosystem is trying to uh, modernize, upgrade technology all the time, upgrade uh, the, the skill set across the ecosystem, right? So we are also doing our part. But whilst doing that, I think if clients 
witness the effort that you're putting in. I think they appreciate that. And uh, I think uh, that's shown in our numbers as well. Interesting. And as a final question, can you share any case study about a project that makes you feel very proud, something that you, that uh, Letter Mac has done a, a, a critical role in delivering a project that uh, probably everybody uh, would, would feel proud of? Sure, sure. There was a project around 12 months ago where uh, it was for a hyperscaler around eight and a half megawatts wow. uh, with a really squeezed timeline. And I think the USP for Electromech is threefold, right? It is delivering projects on time or before time with the right quality and in the global standard of safety requirements that come in, right? So we were working for one of the largest developers in India who also had an end client, which is one of the largest hyperscalers in the world. And from design all the way to uh, commissioning, start of commissioning, we were able to deliver that in four months. And beyond that, within another two and a half months, we were able to completely deliver the entire project. And a lot of credit goes to the end, to the developer here as well. They were extremely supportive, uh, making and giving decisions to us at the right time, which is very important in, in this space. So I think it's something that, you know, I go and uh, speak about this case study to all my potential clients and, you know, they find it a little unbelievable, but we've actually delivered that and we're quite proud of it. That's very impressive. Varun, thank you very much for your thank time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Which has happened many couple of times.